What is going on everybody, it is she's Beauty here on today guys, and today we're back for another video here on the channel, and uh, today we're going to be doing something a little different man, we're going to be doing a Need for Speed Payback wishlist, so these are some some of the things I would personally like to see in Need for Speed Payback, which is the next Need for Speed game in the installment, but um, yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video and let's get started man. So here we go today, uh, I'm... You know, I just made this little list here of some things I like to see in Need for Speed Payback. Um, these may already be features that are coming to, to coming to the game, or have been already, you know, announced for the game, or you know, released for the game. But um, these are some of the features I like to personally see in Need for Speed Payback. So the first feature would be first person. Now, um, you know, first person is really, you know, I mean, you have to have it in a, in a racing game. You just really have to have it some I mean I know some racing games you don't you know see first person but I feel like in Need for Speed you you know it kind of takes away you know when you play an arcadey racing game like this it kind of takes away from it that's just my personal opinion but I like to see I like to really see first person added in the game added in Need for Speed Payback um I think that would be really cool um you know just driving around in like something I don't know. I mean, driving a car, you know, what you know, watching. I don't know, man. It'll just, it'll just be cool. But uh, yeah, p first person. Along with that, I also like to see detailed interiors. Now, detailed interiors is something I would really like to see in this game. Um, you know, I know, you know, because I actually want to see like the you know stuff moving. Now, I know, you know. A, you know a lot of racing games you know right a lot of racing games like Forza and whatnot do have you know detailed interiors like you know sort of you know in a way I mean the screen the sometimes in the infotainment system the screen does not work you know they have a black blank screen so it kind of I mean I, that kind of takes away from the experience I feel like in a little bit but I like to see you know the full effect you know there you know like you have you know the um, like Let's take the Corvette Z06 for example. Like uh, you have, you would have the all of the apps uh, there. I'm not talking about like if you're connected to Apple CarPlay or anything like that. That's that that would that would be pointless. But um, like you know, you have like all the apps and whatnot. Like when you start the car or something like that. That would be really cool. Now um, I think that would just you know bring the bring the you know game more to life. You know, and the car you're driving more to life as well. You know, and you know make the uh, speedometers maybe a little, you know, real life as well. I mean, I think they probably are if, if they, you know, are gonna add first person. But um, you know, I think I think all of this would be just pretty cool, and um, I would really like to see this in the next Defeat Speed. Um, you know, detailed interiors. Um, another one is a necessity in this game: horns. Now, I mean, horns just really needs to be added in the game. I feel like. Um, you know, you just can't have a game, you just ha can't have, like, a game like this without horns. Like, how, you know, you just got people, like, this was the problem, I feel like this was kind of the problem in 2015, uh, New Street 2015, you had people bur doing burnouts, and you didn't know what they meant, you know, because, you know, bur doing burnouts in front of, you know, in front of you may can mean a lot of things, you know, I mean, it really didn't, you it kind of didn't make sense in a way, you know, um, you know, were you like drag racing? I mean, there, there is a system for drag racing now in 2015, but it, it kind of didn't make sense, you know, in a, in a way. And I was like, you know, wait a minute, what, you know, so I was like, what is this man doing? You know, so, um, or, you know, you got someone ramming into you. Um, I think horns would be a better way to you know I, I think horns you know would be a better way to make uh, communicate with people um, you know in a way so I like to see that um, that is another feature I like to see um, another one is neons now I feel like neons kind of needs to be in this game just because it is going back to that underground style of, of course like we did see in uh, 2015 um, but yeah, neons would some is something I like to really see. Now the fact that we're get able to change our own headlights, the color of our headlights, I think that neons just needs to go with it. You know, like you just can't have neons without change. You can't just change change your color change the color of your headlights 
without, you know, adding, grabbing a pair of neons. I mean, I know, you know, that kind of doesn't make sense. But, at the end of the day, I think that would be nice. Um, yeah, so neons. Um, ability to have manual with clutch. Now, I know in Forza you can do this. You know, you can have, um, you can drive manual with clutch and whatnot. You can, um, you know, have the buttons mapped and whatnot. But, I like to see that in Need for Speed Payback as well. Um, I really like to have like the fact I really have that. Like I feel like if you have the three options: automatic, manual, manual with clutch. Now the manual can be like the same, um, you know, up and down, and um, you know, manual manual with clutch, of course, would be maybe like a bumper or even trigger, trigger, um, you know, with clutch, you know, as a clutch. And I think that would be pretty cool. Now I'm not saying. I'm, I'm kind of referring to Forza a little bit here, a lot here, but you know, I mean, some of these features kind of really I like to see um, in New Speed because I did play Forza, you know, for half a year now. I know that doesn't really, you know, prove anything, but I mean, you know, I've seen these features in Forza, you know, and they, these are what I've, you know, been used to for about a half a year now. So I want to see this in New Speed Payback. So yeah, ability to have man with clutch. Now this was not a feature in Horizon 3, but this feature I just like to I would like to see in this type of game. Ability ability to open doors. Now I know a lot of racing games do not do this. Um, I can you know really the only one I could say that lets you really open doors is the crew. And you know that that's when you're in the HQ, but um you are able to open the doors, you know, slight you know, open the doors and whatnot. And, um, you know, I feel like that's, you know, I like to see that, you know. I really like to have the ability to open doors. Like, just imagine an Ventador just opening the Lambo doors. Oh my god, that would be absolutely amazing. But also, I just thought it, I just thought it just now. What if we also had the uh, ability to change the, you know, change the way the doors opened up? That would be, that would be cool, you know. Um, I know, I know it's getting, a, I know I'm getting a little bit carried away here, but what if we had the ability to change, you know, like regular, regular opening doors, you know, uh, to Lambo doors, like let's say, I don't know, um, I'm, you know, I'm currently in EVE speed right now, um, you know, I'm sitting in front of a BMW E M3, let's say we had the ability, I know, this is a bit crazy, but let's say we had the ability just to change those to Lambo doors. Or scissor doors, or something along those lines. That would just be absolutely amazing. That would be absolutely insane. I mean, I mean, just imagine all the photos, you know, of a like, you know, a BMW M3 with Lambo doors in Need for Speed Payback. Only in Need for Speed Pay. Well, I mean, you can really do it in real life. I mean, look at Street Speed 717. You know, his Corvette Z06 with Lambo doors, but. For a different video man but uh moving on engine swaps this is another feature i really like to see in new sweet payback engine swaps now i know forza can do this you know forza you know can you know basically you can basically ls swap a 240sx so i mean i really like to see you know this game kind of you for speed and ghost games kind of introduce engine swaps i mean I really like to do that. Now, I don't like to see that. Now, I don't know if they are. I, I have never seen a Need for Speed game where they have done engine swaps on cars and whatnot. I mean, I just haven't, you know. I mean, I've, you know, only seen, I've only seen them, you know, stick to stock engines and whatnot. Um, and, you know, in the in their game. But, I think that would be pretty cool. Like, Ella swapping a 240, you know, 180SX. Or... I don't know, uh, Honda Civic, I'm not even going to go there, but, um, you know, you know, it would be pretty cool, you know, just the engine swaps and cars, now, I'm not going, I'm not talking, I'm not going to say it's, I'm not going to, you know, say all crazy and swap in a V12 in every single car, that just doesn't make sense, you know, I, I know Forza does that, you know, you can swap in, you know, mostly all car, all, mostly all the cars, I know some cars you can't, um, because of the, you know, car size and whatnot, but, 
well, how cool would it be to engine swap, you know, some some of these cars, you know, that would be, I, I like that, you know, that would be pretty cool, you know, just to change it up a little bit, you know, let's say you don't, you don't like the stock engine or it doesn't produce enough power, and I think that would be pretty cool for drag racing as well, you know, if you think about it, drag racing, you know, people do engine swaps all the time, so, you know, if you do drag racing and the engine, the car you're using with, with the stock motor, doesn't produce enough horsepower to let's say you know get past this level get past that level you know or you know get past that race i should say not level but race you know it should swap it and then you can you know go you know have more even more power than you started with but um you know that's just me though but i don't know i think that would be pretty cool um, you know, just to have that kind of feature. Now, I'm not saying V12 swap a Mustang, because that is just ridiculous. No, just, just no. Only in Forza, really. Just only in Forza. Stay to four. But if you're gonna, and you, if you want a V12 swap, your cars and whatnot, stick to Forza. You know, I'm not even saying that. But I think my last feature would be the ability to get your car impounded and that is where and that is probably where the video is going to end you know at this topic right here but um video i mean if you guys don't know i mean rhinos are coming back to need for speed really i i mean rhinos are coming back man i mean we got serious rhinos like if you guys don't know what rhinos are they're basically you know jeeps like, I, if you guys used to play the old Need for Speeds, like, you know, kind of undercover, most wanted, carbon, stuff like that, you'll know what I'm talking about, man. Rhinos are coming back. And, I mean, this series, bro, but, um, that would be pretty cool, you know, just to have your car in, like, I remember in Need for Speed undercover, and I will, trust me, I will do a video on this on game on that game i'm trying to figure out some camera issues right now but anyways um you know i remember you know playing youth speed undercover and having you know my car impounded um you know it was a porsche 911 gt2 rs yeah gt2 dude i yeah it, it was serious bro i mean i thought it was just like Oh yeah, it's going back to the garage, they spawned you. You know, I was little at the time, so I didn't know what at the, you know, I didn't know, cause I never got my car impounded. I got strikes, but I never got impounded. So, you know, it's, you know, I thought they just like spawned, you know, went back to the garage, spawned you with a different car. Um, luckily, you know, but I was like, wait, what, 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 where is it? And then find out it's gone. So. I think that would be a pretty cool feature. Now, I don't know if that already is going to be a feature implemented into USB Payback, but I would really love that, you know, just the feeling of, you know, getting your car totally, absolutely impounded. That would just be, oh my God, that would, that would, that would really, that would really bring back some um, moments, man, in this game. But, um, yeah, um, but yeah, let me know who, in the comments, man, what would you guys want to see in the next Need for Speed Payback? Uh, what kind of features will you would you guys like to see? I probably will be doing another one of these, um, you know, another one of these, you know, maybe adding on to the list even more. And I'll, I'd really like to get your, um, you know, feedback. L let me know, like, what would you like to see? You know, I probably will, and I will add some things to the list. So, I'm always adding to the list, you know. So, let me know in the comments, man. But, you know, really thank you guys for watching this video. Um, yeah, I mean, this this is this is really some of the things I would like to see personally, me, you know. In um, the next Need for Speed Payback. Um, but, yeah, let me know. But, yeah, also. But, yeah, um, don't forget to drop a like if you guys did enjoy. Also, don't forget to subscribe to more videos. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode.